Thank you, Travis. Well, Congress is back in session after its two-week spring recess. From the war in Ukraine to the U.S.-Mexico border, lawmakers have a lot to tackle. Alex Cameron reports from our exclusive News on 6 Washington Bureau. There's a lot happening here right now, some of it playing out behind the scenes, but other issues like the war in Ukraine are definitely front and center. With the Russian invasion now narrowed in scope and still sputtering, U.S. leaders visiting Ukraine this weekend sounded notes of optimism. They can win if they have the right uh, equipment, the right support. And Defense Secretary Austin pledged to help provide that support. But in order to keep the weapons flowing, Congress will have to approve more funding. And while there is certainly bipartisan support for that, it could stall if Democratic leaders attach it to the $10 billion COVID package they want because Republicans have conditioned their support of that on delaying the lifting of Title 42. We're seeing an epidemic level of people coming across the border. Republicans like Senator James Lankford and several moderate Democrats believe Title 42, which allows border authorities to expel most migrants because of the pandemic, needs to remain in place until the administration has a better plan to deal with what is expected to be another surge in illegal crossings when it is lifted. Speaking of the border, Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas is expected to be grilled about it when he goes before the House Judiciary Committee this Thursday. And at the Supreme Court today... Something I thought we could work out in, uh, you know, a week turn into a seven-year battle. The high school football coach who was fired for leading his players in prayer on the field. I'll have more on that case tomorrow. And then Wednesday at the Supreme Court, it's the Oklahoma case that will help clarify the limits of the state's criminal jurisdiction in Indian country. In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma. Alex Cameron.